Hi, I'm David Blum from Tech Radar, and today we've got the Motorola Razor, the new clamshell foldable flip phone. We've got a full review of the Razor up on our site, so head there for all the details. But for now, we'll just give you a top level overview of the Motorola Razor. For starters, yes, it's a flip phone, a clamshell flip phone. We haven't seen these for a while. Part of the reason is because this display is super hard to make, apparently. This is a plastic 6.2 inch display, so it unfolds into a screen the size of, well, a standard smartphone. Uh, you can do anything you would do a regular smartphone with. Scroll, type, do whatever you want. Now it's not exactly the same because you can feel a little bit of hinge back there. This is a plastic display, unlike the Samsung Z Flip, which claims to have a glass display. So we're really not on parity yet, uh, which is interesting because what we've found is a little bit of creakiness, with a little bit of sound when we fold and unfold. We haven't found it to diminish uh, performance or give us any bad readings, but it's something we're looking out for. We like the promise of this phone, but not exactly its execution. But let's start with the good things about it. For one, it's small. Folded it up, it's, as you saw, about half the size of a normal smartphone, which means you can slip it in your pocket easier and get it lost among your keys, your wallet. It'll fit. It's a little thicker, but that's fine, we found. Is it a selling point? Nah, we'll see. We kind of lived with big smartphones for so long now. Another cool thing about it, this front screen. It's kind of nice just to pull it out and check for time or notifications or whatever. And if you do one of the patented Moto gestures, well, you got your selfie camera right here. Pretty cool. Other things in the phone work just fine. Uh, it's got a fingerprint sensor on the front, which works okay as long as you hit it directly on the front. The screen is responsive, the sound works, all these sort of basic things you'd expect from a smartphone. But let's dive into the things we don't really like about it. Now this front and turns out rear camera, a 16 megapixel, is great when you're taking selfies in the front, but for the back it just doesn't do too much for us. Uh, like in the Moto Z4, it's used for pretty much all the camera's main photography. That means you don't get what a lot of other flagship phones have these days, your ultra wide, your telephoto, or even on some of the other moto phones, the macro to get up close and personal. That's a little bit of annoying, especially for the biggest downside of this phone, it's price. It's $1,500 in the US. And for half again as much as some of the bigger uh, flagships, uh, you're not getting the big camera suite that we'd expect. So let's hope you're good with Bluetooth headphones or fiddling with the single USB-C port at the bottom. There's no micro SD card slot to you to expand the storage. So you have to deal with a one size fits all 120 gigabytes on this, which is fine. But unless you use cloud storage, you're going to have to rely on some storage Tetris to make sure everything fits, so your photos, media, onsite files, etc. As for the display itself, it's capped out at full HD plus, which is fine, but it means the video is a little bit blurrier. Can't tell if this is just the resolution topping out or if it's something to do with the plastic display. But the biggest disappointment is battery. The Motorola Razr comes with a just over 2,500 milliamp battery in the back. That's really disappointing compared to the 4,000, even 5,000 milliamps that are coming in flagships, especially ones as expensive as this. While it doesn't directly translate to low battery life from our tests, we've gotten a day out of it, maybe, um, especially when you're pumping out games, media, whatever. So ultimately, the Razer is an intriguing design, but there's a little bit we have to worry about and a lot we don't terribly like about it. And for $1,500 in the US, that's a lot to ask. Now, the Motorola Z Flip might outperform it in some ways, but we're still in the early days of clamshell foldables, so we're looking forward to the next version. Motorola Razer 2, blow us away. I'm David Lum, and check out our full review of the Motorola Razer at techradar.com.